Hi, welcome back. This is James C2 and we are covering visual hierarchies in our tutorial today. What we want to do within our CRM is have a list of staff members for an organisation that we hold within our CRM. We want a distinction in our CRM between staff members and contacts for our needs. So what I'll do first of all is create our new entity, the staff entity. I'll skip forward in the video so you don't watch this, but if you're interested in how to create a new entity, we do have another tutorial which covers that, which is aptly called Creating a New Entity. Just have a look at our playlist. So I'm going to go to Customizations. I will skip forward, but just to give you a quick view. Okay, so I've gone ahead and created my staff entity. I've created a field for that called job title, so I can record each staff member's job title and place that on the form. So what I'm now going to do is create a relationship between the account and the staff member. Now, that could be done by placing a lookup to the account on the staff form, but that's already been covered in a different tutorial, so I'll show you in this one how to do it a slightly different way. What we need to do is I can either start at the staff and map a new many-to-one relationship or I can go up to the account. I'll choose to do it this way and I'm going to create a one-to-many relationship from the account to many staff members. So I click on the one-to-many relationships option. I'll just ensure there isn't an existing relationship. There won't be because I've just created the new entity but just in case. Nope, here we go. So I'll make a new one-to-many relationship. So I'm mapping this from the account out to the staff record. Now this will create a lookup field for me to place on my staff record. So I want to call that account because it's a lookup to the account and I want to make that business required. So I'll save this. So what we've now done is I have created my new staff entity. I've created a relationship between the account and the staff members. So now what I need to do in order to create the visual hierarchy is create a relationship between staff records. So I'll navigate back down to the staff entity. And this time I want many staff members to report into one other staff member because that is our structure. So I'm going to create a many to one relationship. So I click on that option. There is no existing relationship between staff members, so I'm going to create a new one. And this time I'm mapping staff to staff. And because that is a relationship between two records of the same entity type, I can make this hierarchical. Now I want to record people who report into others. So I'm going to call my lookup field reports to and save it. So what we've done now is we've created a relationship between the account and the staff and now we've created one between the staff and the staff. I need to specify that that is a hierarchy. I have done so by saying when I created the relationship that it was a hierarchy but the next step is to go into hierarchy settings. I'm going to create a new hierarchy setting. Now I'm going to call this the staff hierarchy so that I can easily find it later choose how that's displayed. I want it to look at the information form. Now it's already populated which relationship is going to use this hierarchy because there is only one type of relationship set up in this entity type. If there was more than one you'd have a drop list here where you can pick the relationship. So I'm going to save and close that and now I can go ahead and publish my customizations. Except for the fact I have not yet placed the newly created fields on my staff form. So I have to remember to do that. It's a common mistake that people forget to do that. So I'll go back to my staff form. For the purposes of the tutorial, I'm only going to apply it to one form. I'll apply it to the main form. Okay, so I go to my form. Here are my new fields waiting for me to place on the form. So I'll place my account. I want that just above job title and I'll put reports to underneath job title. Obviously, I'd, I'd tidy this form up if I was putting in a live deploy. Save this. Publish. And now we can go in and show the results of this. Let's go in. I'm going to create some staff records. Now I'm going to create one of the managers first, so I'll put Josh Fellows down, he works for C2, his job title is Sales Manager. I'm not going to put in that he reports to anyone just yet, so I'll save and close that. And now I'm going to create one of Josh's team members, so I'll create Adrian, one of the sales reps, and he reports into Josh. And you can see we start getting the hierarchy tile here. I'll just quickly create another couple. And we can see the hierarchy starts building here. So I'll just add one more. He 
also reports into Josh. And now, because we have a hierarchy against our staff records, if I click on the icons, I can see the hierarchy. If I want to look at Jenny's record, I can open it from the hierarchy. Or I can also put in a new manager. And save the record. What I can now do is see who Josh's manager is. And when I save this, and view the hierarchy, we can see another level of hierarchy within the organisation. So there's Emma, Josh reports into Emma and the three staff members all reporting into Josh. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Please follow us on Twitter for any updates, like our video and feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're also interested in a free trial of CRM, simply click on the link. Thanks for watching, see you next time.